I'm Mary Berry and I'm going to show you the key to perfection to make my fish pie with crushed potato topping and they're all in my new book Mary Berry Cooks the Perfect. This is not the full recipe but it gives you the keys to perfection. It goes over where you might go wrong and gives you lots of hints and tips during the recipe. So to start with I've got those leeks on the new hob and I've been softening them now for a few moments and I've got some hot milk at the back. It always helps to have hot milk uh, when you uh, make a white sauce. So the leeks are in the pan, so is the butter and now I'm going to add the flour. Just sprinkle that in on top of the butter so in fact I'm making a roux with leeks in. Be very careful that the leeks don't get brown, they want to just be soft. So in the pan I've got the roux and the leeks. I'm now going to add hot milk. You'll get a really good sauce if you have hot milk. It'll go in and absorb more quickly. Cold milk takes longer. So let the first lot thicken. The pan's very hot, the leeks are hot, and the roux is hot and immediately that will begin to thicken. You see? So go on adding the milk slowly and once I've added all the milk I shall put it back uh, on the hob just to bubble up to make quite sure all those grains of flour have cooked. Now that looks a little bit thin, but as soon as I put it back to bring to the boil, it's essential that you keep stirring this, otherwise it will catch on the bottom. I'm going right into the corners and take that off the heat. I'm going to add some lemon rind, finely grated and some fresh dill. The flavour goes really well with the fish. And then while the sauce is very, very hot, I'm going to lift in the fish. So I've got two kinds of fish here. This is hake. It could be sustainable cod and in some salmon. All without any skin. Give that a good stir. I'm going to season that. Uh, with pepper and salt and to start the fish cooking uh, I'm just going to uh, three minutes on the hob stirring gently. Now the sauce may seem a little bit thick when you look at it at this stage but remember the juices from the fish are going to come out in the sauce and it will make it slightly more runny. So I have greased the dish, that makes it much easier to clean uh, and so tip all that into the dish and then we'll put some spinach on top. So there it is in the dish, leave it to cool a little because it'll give it a firmer base to put the spinach on and the crushed potato. So now to the spinach, which I have wilted. I'm going to just put a layer of spinach on top. It's just to give uh, a little bit of difference of colour. And if you were doing this for children and they're not very fond of spinach, you would always put the spinach at one end. So lastly to the crushed potatoes. So there they are, they've been cooked until they're just done, all the water's been drained and I'm going to crush them with a fork and when I say crush them, it definitely isn't mashing them, it's just breaking them up with a fork and then you just drizzle a little bit of olive oil over them. Now the olive oil adds to the flavour and of course it helps them to be nice crispy brown on top just really to your liking.
and a sprinkling of pepper and salt. And make sure that the olive oil is really well uh, mixed in. That has cooled, so you can tip them onto the top there and just spread them over. You see how they've actually kept their shape. And it all looks quite informal and is a pleasant change from uh, the classic mash. Gives a lovely rustic finish. So just distribute that all over the top. Don't pack and pack it down. Leave it all nice and loose. And that'll take about 40 minutes at 200 degrees conventional. That's a 180 fan. And it'll take about 40 minutes. So there you have it, my tips on how to make the perfect fish pie with crushed potato topping.